the latest on this story, we're joined now by journalist and author Sabir Bumak in Calcutta. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been 16 years. That's a very long time. Why exactly has Ms Shamila decided to end her hunger strike now? Precisely because after 16 years of hunger strike, the purpose for which she had started this hunger strike remains unachieved. She was protesting and she was demanding an end to a very draconian law in India called the Armed Forces Special Powers Act, which gives security forces almost blanket powers whenever this act is in vogue in states where there is serious insurgency or breakdown of law and order. Now, Iram Sharmila has been saying that this act this law is not in keeping with the spirit of Indian democracy. This actually gives a, uh, encourages a culture of impunity in any parts of India where there is a breakdown of law and order and where security forces are deployed in large number. So she wanted this act to go. 16 years of hunger strike. She's been forced fed for all this time. Her health has gone very bad and nothing has been achieved. So basically, after a review with her friends, she has decided to change tactics. She is saying she is not getting away from the movement to bring down or to end this draconian law. She will continue with it, but she is changing tactics because, according to her, the hunger strike has not worked. There has been no change of heart as far as the Indian government is concerned. A couple of years ago, 12 years to be precise, the government of India actually set up a committee, a parliamentary committee, uh, with a retired judge of the Indian Supreme Court. This committee recommended that this Armed Forces Special Powers Act should be removed. But the Indian government has not even placed this report in parliament because they think this will upset the army and the other paramilitary forces which are involved in protecting citizens which are involved in security operations in places like Kashmir, in places like India's northeast. Therefore, Iram Sharmila says that she is changing tactics. She is going to give up her hunger strike, but she is going to join full-time Indian politics. She is going to contest elections because that is what she thinks she can bring her struggle for removing this act into the parliament, into the state assembly. That's what she is looking for. 16 years with no food is a very long time to draw the conclusion that your protest isn't working. You mentioned that there are problems with her health, inevitably with only being force-fed for more than one and a half decades. Is she fit and healthy enough to stand for election in the state assembly? Well, she is considering herself to be healthy enough not only to stand for elections, but also to get married. She has developed a relationship with someone who began as a pen friend, a, a gentleman from the India's western state of Goa. Now, she's in Manipur, extreme eastern corner of India, and this gentleman, Desmond Kutinho, a Christian gentleman from the west of India in the state of Goa, and she's planning to get married to her. Now, this has upset some of her fellow activists in Manipur. They suspect that this activist, Mr. Kutinho, you know, who has become friends and who is now possibly going to get married to Ms. Sharmila, has been planted by Indian intelligence. That Certain allegations have been made to that effect, that she has been, uh, you know, sort of brainwashed, <laughs> that's the word, quote unquote, brainwashed by this gentleman who is being accused by some Manipur activists as a front of Indian intelligence, but there is no proof of all that. The fact is that she is considering herself healthy enough not only to contest elections, but also to get married. But elections, let me remind you, is still some time away in her state of Manipur. It's still about one and a half years away. So if she is out of, you know, if she breaks her fast, one and a half years would be a good enough time to recover her health uh, to an extent that she can actually go out campaigning in the elections. She is also planning her marriage quite soon. So I, I, I presume she is down and out. Uh, she is down, but she is not out. 
you know, she is healthy enough to consider several options like getting married and contesting elections. Sabir Bumak, thank you so much for joining us.